So what's up guys, it's Mac here from Cryptstar. Today I want to go ahead and tell you guys about some amazing news. Calament is getting listed on Bitmart Exchange. Now Bitmart Exchange is a tier 3 exchange. They have quite a bit of volume. I mean it's not one of the top exchanges. However, it is still great news for Calament. They've been working their butts off, supporting users, supporting artists. And I have been extremely happy with their customer service. Uh, one of the things that really stands out to me about Calament is their customer service and how they go ahead and they filter the artist registration so that they can make sure that there is no copy mentors. They also are planning to upgrade their metadata and even now they have a lot of metadata so the artists can have lots of variety when adding characteristics to their NFTs and adding rarities. They're planning to add even more of these features in the future. They also plan on adding uh, bulk minting capabilities and other such uh, items so that people don't have to actually create their own website. They can just have all the tools they need and connect the Calament API and just do everything straight through Calament. Now, without more to do, let's go ahead and get to the Calament news. Okay guys, so first uh, what I always do when I want to find out more information on Calaments or pretty much any other crypto project, I go ahead and follow them on Twitter. So you can see here I have uh, Calament in their official website right here. And of course right in their description they have their Calament Telegram link as well as their Discord link. You can follow those links and go ahead and contact them for any support issues you have or any questions you have regarding their platform. Also, some really uh, great upcoming news is Calament is getting listed on Bitmart. Like I explained at the beginning of the episode, Bitmart Exchange is actually a rather large exchange. They have about, or they are a top 100 tier exchange according to Coin Market Cap, and I'll show you uh, that information here. You can see Coin Market Cap; they're uh, number 99. They have 1.5 billion dollars in volume a day, so that's really big for Calament. So really exciting news for them, and it also is really big for Tezos ecosystem in general. And also the big news on Calament: the Tupac secure documentary. Now, as we all know, Tupac died in around 1996. It was a really tragic death uh, regarding the inequality of races in America. Um, and it's really this really stood out, stood out to me because Calumet is a multiracial company. They have people in India, they have people in America, and many other countries working together on the platform. Meaning the platform is 24 hours global platform. So that really stood out to me and that actually kind of really hit me when I saw that Tupac was going to go ahead and release the documentary on Kelement. You can read more about that on this page here. Uh, it has quite a lot of information about it. There's also another artist, Darren Keith Bassfield. Looks like he's dropping a some sort of hardcover books. Oh, he's, he's dropping the, the Tupac documentary, I guess. So that's very exciting. Also, some other exciting news for Calament, a the Cat, Roman Catholic mission of Bangkok will release the first ever Catholic NFT. Interesting. So, as we all know, with the corona times, it's really hard to go ahead and get tithe from your people so you can pay for charities and things like that. So, NFTs bring a whole new uh, way for churches and other organizations to go ahead and get funding for their charity projects. So, please uh, check out uh, this charity project on Calament if this interests you, if you want to go ahead and donate to charity. It looks like 100% of the proceeds from this NFT sale will actually go to, it goes to uh, kids and uh, disadvantaged children and their parents are being treated in a nearby rehabilitation center. So they're socially disadvantaged. So basically their their parents are, are drug addicts or something like that and or they're 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 injured or have some mental disability and the kids don't really have any family to look after them. So this the proceeds from this NFT go ahead and go and fund and help those kids have a better life. Uh, that's yeah that's one thing I really like about Calment. They really like to tie the community together. They have all sorts of events. Honestly, I, it's kind of weird, but I mean, KuCoin has the same kind of color scheme as Calament, and they they seem to also have like the very very similar kind of like let's have let's play let's do things together let's let's tie the community together, and that's something I think very positive. I know their NFT platform has on Tezos. And also, some other big news for Calumet is that they are ranked 16 over on the DAP radar for the on the NFT marketplaces. So you can see they're exceeded by uh, a bunch of these other random uh, things I've never heard of. The Centerland I've heard of, um, uh, Wave Ducks never heard of them. Uh, Hicket Nook that's another Tezos one. It's really funny how Tezos is uh, ranked 34 on the coin market cap. However, two of the Tezos NFT marketplaces are actually ranked in the top 16 of the NFT marketplaces. Very interesting to me. Um, OpenSea, Axie Infinity is Eth and Ronin. Uh, CryptoPunks is Eth. Pretty much is all Eth. There's some like Polygon and some other random stuff here, but actually uh, looks like besides uh, maybe Polygon, uh, Tezos actually has the most NFT platforms in the top 16. So that is really great news for Tezos. 
And if that doesn't uh, encourage you to buy more Tezos today, or get, or at least get involved in the Tezos ecosystem, uh, you can follow me on Twitter. I do lots of giveaways. Kalamant also does giveaways, and a lot of the projects, the artists that they support, do giveaways to go ahead and promote their products. So make sure that you get in on that. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video today. Uh, I hope you liked this video on Kalamant. I love the Kalamant Exchange. I've gotten involved in several projects uh, that Kalamant has helped launch. They're very friendly. If you're looking to start a project, I highly recommend hitting up one of their devs or hitting up one of their project leaders. You can hit up me, I can connect you with them, and they will get you started right away. Anyways, have a good day, guys, and I'll catch you all next time. Bro, we need to pop it. Everybody, go to Twitter and hashtag the things. Pump it. You know, pump it real good. We need the good pump. Everybody deserves a nice Tezos pump.